other than the armed one might be yours. And Allah willed that he should cause the truth to triumph by his words and cut the root of the disbelievers, that he might cause the truth to triumph and bring vanity to naught, however much the guilty might oppose. When ye sought help of your Lord, and he answered you, saying, I will help you with a thousand of the angels, rank on rank. Allah appointed it only as good tidings, and that your hearts thereby might be at rest. Victory cometh only by the help of Allah. Lo, Allah is mighty, wise. When he made the slumber fall upon you as a reassurance from him, and sent down water from the sky upon you, that thereby he might purify you, and remove from you the fear of Satan, and make strong your hearts, and firm your feet thereby. When thy Lord inspired the angels, saying, I am with you, so make those who believe stand firm. I will throw fear into the hearts of those who disbelieve, then smite the necks and smite of them each finger. That is, because they opposed Allah and his messenger. Whoso opposeth Allah and his messenger, for him, lo, Allah is severe in punishment. That is the award, so taste it, and know that for disbelievers is the torment of the fire. O ye who believe, when ye meet those who disbelieve in battle, turn not your backs to them. Whoso on that day turneth his back to them, unless maneuvering for battle or intent to join a company, he truly hath incurred wrath from Allah, and his habitation will be hell, a hapless journey's end. Ye Muslims slew them not, but Allah slew them. And thou, Muhammad, threwest not when thou didst throw, but Allah threw, that he might test the believers by a fair test from him. Lo, Allah is hearer, knower. That is the case. And know that Allah it is who maketh weak the plan of disbelievers. O Quraysh, if ye sought a judgment, now hath the judgment come unto you. And if ye cease from persecuting the believers, it will be better for you. But if ye return to the attack, we also shall return. And your host will avail you naught, however numerous it be. And know that Allah is with the believers in his guidance. O ye who believe, Obey Allah and his messenger, and turn not away from him when ye hear him speak. Be not as those who say, We hear, and they hear not. Lo, the worst of beasts in Allah's sight are the deaf, the dumb, who have no sense. Had Allah known of any good in them, he would have made them hear. But had he made them hear, they would have turned away of us. O ye who believe, obey Allah, and the messenger when he calleth you to that which quickeneth you, and know that Allah cometh in between the man and his own heart, and that he it is unto whom ye will be gathered. And guard yourselves against a chastisement which cannot fall exclusively on those of you who are wrongdoers, and know that Allah is severe in punishment. And remember, when ye were few and reckoned feeble in the land, and were in fear lest men should extirpate you, how he gave you refuge, and strengthened you with his help, and made provision of good things for you, that haply ye might be thankful. O ye who believe, betray not Allah and his messenger, nor knowingly betray your trusts. And know that your possessions and your children are a test, and that with Allah is immense reward. O ye who believe, if ye keep your duty to Allah, 
He will give you discrimination between right and wrong, and will rid you of your evil thoughts and deeds, and will forgive you. Allah is of infinite bounty. And when those who disbelieve plot against thee, O Muhammad, to wound thee fatally, or to kill thee, or to drive thee forth, they plot, but Allah also plotteth. And Allah is the best of plotters. And when our revelations are recited unto them, they say, We have heard. If we wish, we can speak the like of this. Lo, this is naught but fables of the men of old. And when they said, O oh Allah, if this be indeed the truth from thee, then rain down stones on us, or bring on us some painful doom. But Allah would not punish them while thou wast with them, nor will he punish them while they seek forgiveness. What plea have they that Allah should not punish them when they debar his servants from the inviolable place of worship? though they are not its fitting guardians. Its fitting guardians are those only who keep their duty to Allah, but most of them know not. And their worship at the holy house is naught but whistling and hand clapping. Therefore it is said unto them, Taste of the doom, because ye disbelieve. Lo, those who disbelieve spend their wealth in order that they may debar men from the way of Allah. They will spend it, then it will become an anguish for them, then they will be conquered, and those who disbelieve will be gathered unto hell. That Allah may separate the wicked from the good. The wicked will he place peace upon peace, and heap them all together, and consign them unto hell. Such verily are the losers. Tell those who disbelieve that if they cease from persecution of believers, that which is past will be forgiven them. But if they return thereto, then the example of the men of old hath already gone before them for a warning. And fight them until persecution is no more and religion is all for Allah. But if they cease, then lo, Allah is seer of what they do. And if they turn away, then know that Allah is your befriender, a transcendent patron, a transcendent helper.